Hello everyone. We hope this finds you well, in good spirit, and having a good day. This is a message from the Lord to the world. Sheriffs, police officers, pastors, and attorneys are fighting COVID orders. Americans talk about their constitution and defending it instead of God's covenant that prohibits men from legislating away people's God-given rights. The people will never be free unless they return to keeping God's covenant and laws, which are the real British Constitution. Ja. Please see the website jatruth.net forward slash britka, B-R-I-T-C-A. The heraldic symbolism of the unicorn on the British coat of arms. The British coat of arms is the coat of arms of the twelve tribed kingdom of Israel and Christ, their rightful king. The true Israel people have on their coat of arms a lion and a unicorn, which is shown as a white horse rampant with one horn. The amber lion rampant on the left side is the emblem of the two tribed house of Judah, and the unicorn or white wild ox rampant on the right side is the emblem of the ten-tribed house of Israel, collectively making the twelve-tribed kingdom of Israel. The word British is Hebrew. It means the people of the covenant, or in other words, the people Israel, whose written constitution under the covenant that they have rejected to their own loss is written in the Bible, Israel's book, that they still swear on to tell the truth, but whose constitution under which there are no poor people is then foolishly rejected by almost everyone in favor of inferior and unjust man-made laws and economics which cause poverty and therefore also crime brought about by deprivation and desperation. The Israelite tribe of Joseph of the coat of many colors, coats of arms, to whom Jacob Israel gave his new name Israel and his unicorn emblem Deuteronomy 33:16-17 and the coat of many colors, many coats of arms, is, in fact, divided into two, Ephraim and Manasseh, Deuteronomy 33:16. And for the precious things of the earth, and the fullness thereof, and for the good will of him that dwelt in the bush, let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph, and the crown upon the head of him that was separated from his brethren, Genesis 49:10 and 22-24. 33.17. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth. And they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. To see the colors from which Joseph's coat was made, please read my booklet called Gibraltar, British or Spanish. The true historical facts will surprise you. Joseph had two sons called Ephraim and Manasseh, whose descendants today are the English and the English Americans, respectively, and they are the true Israel, because Jacob, Israel, gave them alone the name Israel and the sole right to use the name Israel. Genesis 48.16 The angel which redeemed me from all evil blessed the lads and let the name Israel be named on them. Let Ephraim and Manasseh be called Israel, and the name of my fathers Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. Note well that Jacob Israel did not give his name Israel to Judah, Judah, or any of his other sons. Abraham, Joseph's great granddad, was told by God that in Isaac shall your seed be called. Genesis 21 verse 12. Isaac's sons, Saxons, Saxons. The British English and English Americans are Anglo-Saxons or Anglo-Saxons. God's word is ever true. The unicorn, white horse, angle represents the horse upon which God's witnesses ride as in Revelation Apocalypse 1911. Cross-reference, Revelation Apocalypse chapter 1 verse 5 Isaiah 43, verse 12, and Revelation Apocalypse 11, verse 3. In England, there are white horses that have been carved into hillsides, etc. The unicorn in scriptural code language. 
Horn is the code word for kingdom. Unicorn symbolizes a unique horn. One kingdom, world without end. God's kingdom on earth, soon. On the coat of arms, the belt surrounding the shield, with which the people were to gird up their loins with great strength, has written on it, Onesua Kima Pence. Onesua Kima Pence is Old French and it is one of God's rules concerning his advice in divine justice and means evil be to him who thinks it. Under it in French is written, Doué mon droit, God and my right, the birthright of Israel, the British and related nations, given to Ephraim, the Engelish. The unicorn, or wild ox, the Engel, has the crown of Israel around its neck so that it is not possible to remove it. The crown is chained to the words Mondwa, which means my right, and refers to the birthright given to Ephraim, which, like the crown to which it and the unicorn, Engel, is chained, can never be removed from Ephraim, the Engel-ish. The lion, rampant, represents the house of Judah wearing a crown that can and will be removed when Shiloh from Ephraim takes his rightful British throne Genesis 49 verse 10 and 22 to 24 soon from the house of Windsor which is like Elizabeth II descended from the house of Judah and the royal line of David Genesis 49 10 the scepter shall not depart from Judah to Joseph nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh comes from Joseph Ephraim, verse 22 to 24, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Joseph is a fruitful bough, even a fruitful bough by a well, whose branches run over the wall. The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him, but his bow abode in strength, and his arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the corner stone of Israel, Daniel chapter 2 verse 34 to 35 and 45. Ezekiel 21 26 Thus saith the Lord I am, remove the diadem, sovereignty, and take off the crown, this shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low, line of Judah Zara, and abase him that is high, line of Judah Pharez. I will overturn one, overturn two, overturn three it and it shall be no more overturned until he come whose right it is and four I will give it him Shiloh Christ Genesis 49 10 the overturns explained one from Judah Pharez in Jerusalem to Judah Zara of the red hand Genesis 38 28 to 30 at Tara County Royal Meath Ireland constituting the abasing of the high ones, Pharez, and the exalting of the low ones, Zara. 2. From Tara to Scotland, and Fergus the Great. 3. Scotland to England, from Edward Longshanks. The fourth overturn began on December 25, 1950, when Ian Hamilton and his friends kindly removed the Stone of Destiny from the Westminster Abbey and took it from David who was from both the Judah line of David, Genesis 49.10, and also called Prince David, who had become King Edward VIII and outlived his stand-in, George VI, fulfilling exactly Christ's own prophecy to his Apostle John in his revelation to John. 22.16 I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the communities. I am the root source and successor of David, Ezekiel 21:27, and the bright and morning star, the silver lion standing firmly on all four feet, supreme on top of the king's crown helmet, and wearing a crown higher than all the others, symbolizes Christ, the rightful king of Israel, who, on the second coming, as prophesied by God, will use a new body from the tribe of Ephraim, the Engelish. The helmet itself with the king's crown on it, and Christ standing upon the top of it to guide the wearer's thoughts, symbolizes the helmet of salvation referred to in Paul's letter to the Ephesians in chapter 6, verse 17.
Ephesians 6.17 And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. John 1.14 The shield, which is surrounded by the belt, shows, in the bottom left-hand quarter, the harp of David, who was the king of Israel, and whose harp has been adopted by Ireland, the inhabitants of which are a mix of Danites and Judah Zarahites, of the red hand, Genesis 38, 28, and 30, that is superimposed on the Star of David, which is superimposed on the Cross of Sacrifice on the Northern Ireland flag. The Irish people have been wrongfully divided by their blind priests and their organized ritualized religions, even though they are both descended from Jacob's sons and are therefore both Israelite nations and brothers and both claim allegiance to Christ. The shield also shows in the top right hand corner the red lion rampant of Scotland, which country is named after Scota, their mother, who was a princess from Judah Zara of the red hand. The Scots are descended from the same stock as the northern Irish people of Judah Zara who migrated from Ireland to Scotland. The lion emblem, as already explained, is the emblem of Judah, who had twin sons called Pharaohs and Zara of the red hand. Therefore, it is only logical that the lion emblem, when used by Judah Zara of the Red Hand, should also be red in color. The shield shows, in the top left hand and bottom right hand quarters, six lions couchant, symbolizing England, Wales, and all the young lions of the British Commonwealth. Wales also adopted the Harp of David as an emblem and their national musical instrument another sign of the British Hebrew Israelite ancestry and the heritage is the fact that as in Hebrew Berit or Brit means covenant in the Welsh language all Bible references quoted are from the newly completed King of Kings Bible copyright JA 1998 all rights reserved